Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to mix up some different uh, blues, such as turquoise and teal. And then if you guys like this video, um, let me know and I can in the next one show you how to mix up some different reds and purples like maroon, burgundy and stuff. So I often just get the primary colors and then I mix my own. Uh, the only time I don't do that is for certain colors that I can't really mix like magenta. I'm not going to really mix that or if I want a specific purple. So um, these are Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixed with um, Floetrol and water. And we're going to first start with some turquoise. So you're going to need mostly white and then just a little bit of blue. And the trick is to just add a little bit at a time because you can add more, you can't really take it out. So, and then just a little bit of yellow. You want less yellow than blue because otherwise you're gonna get more of a mint. And even here, see, that's a bit too minty. Um, well, for, so that's how you make mint. <laughs> Uh, is pretty much equal parts blue and yellow there. So we're going to add a little more blue. It's not too far off. There we go. That's a little more on the lines of turquoise. It's pretty light. I actually did a lot of white. So I'd probably add just a little more blue and yellow just to darken it a little bit. But, you know, there's different shades of everything, so there's definitely no wrong colors. But that's how you make turquoise, is literally just white, blue, and yellow with more, mostly white, then second most is the blue, and then the least of the yellow. And there you have a pretty turquoise. Now for teal, you need definitely less white, and there's different teals. There's blue teals and there's green teals. So let's go ahead and we'll make more of a blue teal. So because I put a bunch of white in here, now I've got to add definitely more color. So I'm going to start with my blue. And at this point, it's getting, you can tell that it's getting to the teal. Like this could be considered a blue teal. Still a little bit light, but we're going to go for more of a greenish teal. Can also be called aqua. <laughs> depending on who you ask and it's literally that simple you're gonna just keep adding the color and darkening it until you get the color that you like let's darken it even just a little more here I'm gonna add both a little more blue and a little more yellow still leaning heavier on the blue side because otherwise you're just gonna get green with teal you have to be heavier on the blue side. Okay. So there we go. We have a really pretty teal. It looks like it looks lighter in the camera, I think. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the colors across. I'm going to show you what happens real quick if we add too much yellow. So I added a bunch of yellow. And now we definitely have a more green. So it's, I hope you guys can see that pretty clearly. Um, but yeah, it's definitely no longer really on the teal side. So if you did that, if you just added too much yellow, go ahead and add more blue. That's all you need to do. And we're back to having a teal. <laughs> Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you were able to accurately see the colors in um, the camera. If it was helpful and you would like to see a video coming up on mixing some different, like, pinks, reds, and purples, let me know, and I'll go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.